What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Oh yeah, today is a very exciting because finally giving y'all the gym tour. I really care and take pride in the content that I deliver to you guys. So I wanted to make sure that the setting reflected that, you know, I wanted to be able to concentrate and have a professional studio space to give you guys the highest quality that I'm capable of. So I really do think that this gym slash studio provides that. So let's just get right into it. But first, if you are new, definitely hit that subscribe button for new videos every single week. Girl, lots of videos coming. First, I just want to note about our flooring. Underneath this flooring is disgusting brown carpet. We do live in an apartment, so we had to make do what we had. Unfortunately, we couldn't rip up the carpet. So we got off of Amazon like that rubber mat meant for gym spaces. Light hardwood. <sighs> Love that look. Okay guys, first piece of equipment, this is actually our newest addition, is from 1-2 Fitness. I love this decline bench. Girl, if you don't, if you've never been on a decline bench, you gotta try it. This will shred your abs like no other, all right? It's all about the decline. I will have every single piece of equipment linked down below in case you wanna take a closer look. This bench is my new baby. Comfortable padding, you just tuck your feet right into here and you could do your decline sit-ups. You could also turn on your side and do oblique crunches, okay? I'm big with ab workouts, as you guys know if you follow me on Instagram. So I'm all about the core and keeping the core nice and strong. So, decline bench, heavy duty, I absolutely love it. Okay guys, so we have a Roman chair. Not gonna lie, I don't remember the name of this brand. All I know is it had the best ratings on Amazon and I don't totally love it, I'm not gonna lie. It's, every time I use it, I feel like I'm gonna fall forward. I haven't yet. Yeah, I don't think I don't think I will. All right, I don't think it. I think it's stable enough to to make sure that I don't. I always feel that feeling like I'm about to flip forward. It's scary. Down the road, we definitely plan on getting like a heavy, the heavy duty Roman chair. Okay, that's coming. But yeah, I absolutely love this to do back extensions on. I'm actually even like doing sit ups on this, or I was before my decline bench. So yeah, I won't use that for that anymore. Okay, now I got the decline bench. I was doing oblique crunches on this as well. This is just a really great core burner. I love back extensions on here, keeping that lower back really nice and tight. No home gym is complete, girl, without some form of a cardio machine. I am a huge fan of biking, girl. I've been biking forever. There is no better type of cardio equipment that'll tear your legs up. If you want toned legs, you want them ripped, oh my God, stationary bike was where it's at, period. So again, this is from 1-2 Fitness. I'm obsessed. Y'all, this bike is amazing. The quality is superb. I feel super stable on this baby. It ain't going anywhere. It's not fidgety and it even has a resistance on it, okay? Give yourself that challenge, girl. Get that blood pumping. This has an adjustable handle. It has an adjustable uh, seat in the back here. So really, I mean, it's versatile. Anybody could really use it. This is just overall an equipment. I just feel like it's an essential part of the gym to have some kind of like a stationary bike where you can just burn those calories, watch some TV while you're doing it. You know what I'm saying? And guys, I know, this is like not that significant, but little, little, little things like this matter to me. I love how it says enjoy life right here. I love that. Amen to that, right? Enjoy life. Stay fit. One of my favorite pieces of equipment because it's the most versatile thing. If you don't got dumbbells, girl, you need yourself some dumbbells. We got this from the brand Cap, all right? Cap is big on Amazon really dope high quality gym type of equipment so we got the ones from 5 to 25 pounds down the road we're gonna get ones that go to like 150 but right now to start and it takes up minimal space this is all we really need right now so really really dope really high quality rubber okay so it ain't going anywhere grip handles mm. I do a lot of my workouts with dumbbells, full body. You can do full, full body, girl. Anything you wanna work can be done with dumbbells. Believe that. 
All right, over here, we have our prized possession, which we use for almost all of the rest of the equipment you're about to see, girl. And these are our plates from the brand Xmark. And everything you see on here is like Amazon. So we bought the holders separate from the actual plates. The plates range from 2.5 pounds to 25 pounds. Uh, each one has like two. Two, we got four five pounds, four 10 pounds, and two 25s. So yeah, had to get the holder just to keep everything really nice and clean. And it does the job. Okay, so right in between our windows, we have our little cable machine. All right, this is for pull day, baby. There's only so much you can do without a cable machine. You need, you need the cable machine. So this machine, it does the job, okay? But it's not those heavy duty machines you see at the gym that have the weight automatically attached to the equipment itself. This you need to manually put on plates on the back here. So right here is where you would put your weight on it. It's not the, you know, worst thing in the world, but it, you know, one day we will upgrade to one where it's just got the whole stack of weight right here. It is very affordable. I believe this machine didn't break $200. So that's why we got it. Super affordable, took up minimal space. And I really like it because it, it has all the attachments. Like you can, we bought a few external attachments that didn't come with it, but it did come with a couple attachments. So this is from the brand Van Sway. I believe is how you pronounce it. And I like this because you can move this around and do different things with it. You can take this cable off, it comes off, and you can throw your attachment up here. So you can do pull downs, and then you can reattach this cable and come down right here and have your attachment on so you can do things like upright rows, things like that, target different areas of your back. I don't like how this isn't slideable, all right? So you can't put it in the middle, say, and do standing rows or anything but I didn't think it was the end of the world because down here you do have the function of throwing up this metal plate right here and you can do seated rows. So you can still target the middle of your back. So as long as I can do that, I was all right. You know what I'm saying? I was all right. Okay, so here are my different attachments for this machine. You guys saw the rope. Okay, that's my favorite. We also have a straight bar. If you wanna do like straight arm pull downs, we have a wide grip bar, okay, for lat pull downs. You know, girl, you gotta get those wings growing, lat pull downs. We have like the single attachments. If you wanna do isolation type of exercises, absolutely need these, you know, girl. Ankle strap, girl, work on those booty gains, you already know. Okay, and lastly, we have the close grip, okay? So we pretty much are covered. Every, every type of back cable exercise you could think of, we got the attachment for it. All right, guys, over here we have the yoga ball. All right, this is what I love to use for my stability exercises, and I do a lot of um, abdominal work on it as well. Now we have a squat box, okay? I love this baby. You get creative with it. It's great for stretching. It's just something that is inexpensive, and it's just a good addition to have to your gym. All right, and underneath here, in case you're wondering what's in this bin, this is literally where I put all of my resistance bands and things of the nature. We have a lot of different kinds of resistance bands in here, okay? Because they all do something slightly different. We have a bunch, a bunch of glute lower body resistance bands in here. We have ourselves an ab roller. We got ourselves a jump rope. We have very long resistance bands, okay? These we attach to our squat rack, we do assisted pistol squats, things like that. So yeah, right now this is where all our our bands and things go, all right? We're just gonna keep it in here and we're just gonna put it on there. All right, baby, in this corner we have our power tower. It's not the most stable, but it does the job, right? That was my shoe. <laughs> I really do love it because you can do dips, the padding right here, so you can do lower abdominal. Woo! Chin ups like you just saw. James actually put this in backwards. He's gotta fix that, all right? He has to get on that. And we have a weighted belt, okay? For those challenging days where I'm just feeling like a freaking beast, and I wanna beast it up a little bit, all right? 
I'll put anything crazy on here, like five pounds will do it. <laughs> this we just keep right here. If you're looking at that thing behind there, okay, that's my badass walking stick. This baby comes out to play when I'm feeling real fierce, okay, where I want to F things up. But if I'm being honest, I really just like it because it's good for stretching. Oh, mm. you know what I'm saying, girl? I'm just kind of stretch it out a little bit here. Whew. Oh. In all honesty, when nobody's around and I just have a place to myself, I just like act like I'm in a movie. This is what gets me pumped up to work out. All I need is a stick. Okay, moving on, right next to this power rack and right next to our squat rack, right in between, we got our kettlebells. This came in a pack of four, we got 10 pounds. We have 15, 20, and 25, okay? That's all I need right now in my life. I swear to God, kettlebells, if you want a ripped core, add them into your circuit, okay? You'll never go back, I'll never go back. All right guys, and the last section of the gym is of course our squat rack, all right? Here is where some magic happens. This, I'm pretty sure like everything you see here is from the brand cap, most of the equipment is. So you have the adjustable squat rack, okay? This right here, you can lower it or put it up more depending on your height, where you want your barbell placed. We have a heavy duty barbell, okay, which we add our plates that you saw before. Do a bunch of squatting, sumo squats, lunges. Got my little gym barbell pad here, okay, for those hip thrusts or even heavy squatting. Help, help it from digging into your neck or your hips. Nobody likes that. We have ourselves a bench, an adjustable bench. I use a bench for almost like everything, honestly. You can work your chest. Your chest presses, it's great to do like seated uh, lateral raises, things to keep you stable. Uh, hip thrusts are done on here. I do a lot of abs, like leg raises, so that you have like the decline. It's, it's great, this baby is adjustable, so you can have a incline, or you can keep it straight. You can really honestly work your full body on just a bench. And lastly, we have in the corner here, standing straight up, is our easy bar curl with the clips, okay? That's just clips, you know, so that the plates don't go sliding around everywhere on you. Absolutely love having an easy bar for upper body day, doing rows. The curvature of the bar and its unique structure, that little wave you see, helps to target different areas of your upper body. So depending on which angle you choose to grip, you're working different areas of, say, your bicep, things like that. So I thought it was very necessary to have that. This we like to keep open for our yoga, our stretching, and some hip movements, okay? So if we need to be balanced around, that's what this is for. This is also where I film for daily workout apps, okay? So I do move the equipment and use this banner, like this little wall over here, uh, to film for daily workout apps. So it works for a lot of different things. But like all my platforms that I have on social media, this is, this is the hearth of it all. So yeah guys, that was it. I hope you enjoyed this little gym tour. Again, I will have all the equipment linked down below in case you're interested in checking it out for yourself. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.